How's your Wiggle text, images, or even a video clip in Premiere Pro? Well, the short answer is you can't. It's not like After Effects, where you can just add a little wiggle expression and have your element magically move around as you wish. But that's not entirely true either. In this video, I'll show you two ways to wiggle elements in Premiere Pro. You need to download some assets, but they're free and quite easy to access. You can even create some of them on your own. So without further ado, let's dive in. The first way is to use the warp stabilizer and some handheld footage. So this clip is just me recording a marker on my wall. I did it all handheld because we need the movement. Now I bring that into my Premiere Pro timeline. Before doing anything, I'll first nest this into another sequence. Once that's done, I apply the warp stabilizer effect on the nested sequence. Give it a second to analyze the footage. Once it's finished, you'll notice less motion on the marker. Now double click into the nested sequence, you'll see the original handheld footage. What I usually do is to add the text on top of the clip and then extend it to the full lens. Then I right click on the clip and uncheck enable. This will toggle off the original footage. When you go back to the original sequence, you will see the text wiggling. What we're actually doing here is tricking Premiere Pro into using the counter movement generated by the warp stabilizer, but without telling the program that the footage has been swapped. Although there are a couple of things to keep in mind with this technique. First, you need to decide the length of your clip upfront. If you extend the clip later, the warp stabilizer will need to regenerate the counter movement and it won't work. And second, you can use any handheld footage to generate this organic movement. I've created some wiggle clips for you to use, and you can find the download links below. Speaking of downloads, you might also want to grab my wiggle mogut, designed specifically for Premiere Pro. With this mogut, you can stay entirely within Premiere Pro and still create a wiggle motion with loads of controls. Now, once you have got this mogut into your Essential Graphics panel, just drag this into your timeline. To start, you can uncheck the thumbnail screen and you'll see some placeholder text. This mogut allows you to choose whether to wiggle text or media assets. There's a drop down menu for that, but for now, let's stick with text. In the text box, type something you want to wiggle. And you can customize the font and size too. Now let's move to the wiggle function section. I've rewritten the wiggle function so you can control the timing of the wiggle. Time in is the point where the wiggle starts. So if you set it to one, the wiggle begins at one second. Time in then is how long it will take for wiggle to fully kick in. If you set it to one, it will take one second to transition into a full wiggle. Then there's time out and time out then which controls when the wiggle starts to fade out and how long the fade out lasts. The final two sliders are to control how often the text wiggles and how far away it moves from the center. So if I want to animate to start at zero seconds with a slow transition, I'll set my time in to zero and then time in length to four. This way it will take four seconds for the text to go from standing still to a full wiggle. For a sharp stop at 9 seconds, I'll set timeout to 9 and then timeout length to 1 second. If I want the movement to be less frequent, I'll bring this down to 2, but I want the wiggle to move away from the center point, so I set the amp to 100. As you can see, this is my final result. Feel free to experiment and get the movement you want. If you go back to the top, you'll see you can wiggle a media asset as well. Just select Media Asset from here and then bring in your own clip or image into the placeholder. This is what it looks like with wiggles applied to an image. So there you have it. Two ways to wiggle in Premiere Pro. Which method do you prefer? The one with the mogut or the one with using a handheld clip? Whichever you like, I've got both the mogut and the wiggle footage assets available on my GunPro page. Link to download the assets below. That's all about this video. Let me know if you have any questions or comments and don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, happy editing.